Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Afro Goddess Arcana Tarot deck. And then I'm going to pull you, there'll be no clarification, but I'm going to pull you a card from the African Goddess Rising deck. This is a Guyanese. Um, this is this person who made this deck is Guyanese. So I just had the feeling to, I wanted to pull her card. Pull you guys a card from her deck. Now, some of the names I can't pronounce. I won't lie to you. Some of the goddesses and gods I can't pronounce. Well, actually, goddesses. These, these are all feminine. Um, I can't pronounce all of them. Some of, the, some of them I can. But anyway, you definitely will get the message. So, darling, to all of you stopping by, I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Please know that I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay, babies? So, Taurus, let's see. So Taurus, this is for you. The Son of Wands, some passionate energy, eh? Impulsive too. Oh no, you got the Wheel of Fortune. You got a fresh new start. This is a good start for you. You heading towards it. You got the Six of Wands, babies. You're successful here. You got the Daughter of Pentacles. You had some good news about financial matters not too long ago. You got the Nine of Wands, darlings. You are resilient. No matter how many times you fall down, you get back up. You got the Ten of Wands. Ooh, this is coming into something unexpectedly, okay? This is about prosperity, enough to take care of you and your family. You stay balanced and harmonized within you, and you will see beautiful things happen. You got the Three of Swords here. Now, there's some, some heartache here, but this heartache that you're experiencing, you will successfully overcome it, okay? It's still there. It's lingering. You got the Daughter of Cups. Use your intuition and open up your heart. Forgive yourself. And then forgive others. You got the Three of Wands. No matter what, darlings. You might be going on a trip somewhere. Or maybe things are expanding for you. That's the Three of Wands. You got the Five of Cups, of course, with a broken heart. And this is from the past. Just... You know, you're still feeling it. You still feel upside down. And then you got the tower. So this broken heart was probably caused by something chaotic. No matter what took place. This is going to be short. No matter what took place. You're going to overcome this moment in your life, okay? Whatever is going on, Taurus, you are going to overcome it, okay? You got the Four of Pentacles. This is about balance. You spending your resources wisely, paying attention. You got the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is about happy family. And we got the Six of Pentacles, which is about balance. Now, remember, sometimes, now we all know when things are good and when they're bad. We all know if a situation is abusive or not. We know if it's loving, true love, and if it's not. Now, what I don't want you to do, I don't want you to be ill-treated and think it's love. That's not love, okay? But what's coming towards you after this chaos and confusion is going to straighten out and you're going to feel balanced. You're going to feel really good. You're going to have happiness in the home again. All right? Or happiness within you again. You got the four of pentacles, you got the ten of cups, and you got the six of pentacles. This is about balance. This is happiness. And this is about balance again. So whatever is going on, you will find the happiness that you're looking for. And let's see here. The African goddess rising. 
message we got for Taurus. We're gonna do that one, and we're gonna do that one. So we have Queen Nandy, which is about intuition. And we have the Seven Sisters, which is about creativity. So let's see. Queen Nandy. The temple is the queen's. The element is fire. What is your guidance telling you? Put your hands over your third eye, center of your forehead. And ask, if I knew what the answer is, what would it be? Then follow your first instinct. The creator and your ancestors connect you through your intuition. Trust your internal GPS. The nudges, signs, and coincidence are divine guidance. Slow down. Go for a walk. Meditate. Be present with nature and pay attention. Being present allows you to feel, hear, see, and sense your guidance. The goddess declaration for this card is, I am knowing. The next one is the Seven Sisters, card 12, which is card number three, which is about creativity. So we have creativity here, the Seven Sisters. The temple is conjurers. The element is air. You are a divine nation within one person. How creative do you allow yourself to be? Break out of your comfort zone and into your creative fertility. You have the power that creates planets. So yes, you are creative. No one else's opinion matters here. Let your inner child play to awaken your creativity. Creating a birthing, creating is birthing, is manifesting. So let your inner child play to awaken your creativity. Creating is birthing, is manifesting. The goddess declaration for this card, I am a creative visionary. So Taurus, there is nothing you cannot do. Set your mind to it and don't you give up. I love you guys dearly, and we shall chat soon.